We will take a look at how the orders of some of the matrices that we multiplied are related to the order of their product. There's a relationship between the order of the matrices being multiplied and the order of the result. As a matter of fact, the order of the matrices might also dictate that the product is not possible. The first matrix has two rows. We see the two rows. The ones that go across are the rows. We have two of them. We have two rows. That same matrix also has two columns. The vertical ones are the columns, just like the columns in your house, in your Colosseum, any building, any monument, the columns are vertical. We have two of those vertical columns. The matrix is therefore said to be of the order two by two. It is a two by two matrix. It has two rows and two columns. It is a two by two matrix. What about the other one? The second matrix has two rows. The ones that go across, those are the rows. We have two of them. It also has one column. In this particular case, there's only one going vertically. We just have one column. The matrix is therefore of the order two by one. That is a two by one matrix. It has two rows and it has one column. If two matrices are being multiplied and the orders are arranged like the two matrices, then the product is possible if the two middle numbers are the same. Here we have two matrices to be multiplied. This one followed by this one. If we arrange the orders, this one followed by that one in the same way, then the matrix product is only possible if the two middle numbers are the same. This means that the number of columns of the first must be equal to the number of rows of the second. Since they are the same, the two middle numbers, then the matrix product is possible, which means that the number of columns of the first is equal to the number of rows of the second. The two end numbers will form the order of the resulting matrix. When we multiply these two matrices, the order of the answer will be 2 by 1. And that 2 by 1 is determined by the two extreme numbers. What is the purpose of the two numbers here? These two inside numbers will tell if the matrix product is possible. And it is only possible if they are equal. The two end numbers will tell us the order of the resulting matrix. The resulting matrix is therefore 2 by 1. And this is quite practical because we did this on numerous occasions and we saw that when we multiply a matrix like this of order 2 by 2 by 1 that is 2 by 1, we always get a column matrix. We have been doing this for some time now. This verifies that the resulting matrix is of order 2 by 1. This is a column matrix. It has one column. A matrix with the second number in the order being 1 is a column matrix. A column matrix has the second number being 1. That is a column matrix. If the numbers were multiplied the other way around, then the orders would also change places. Because the way that we multiply the matrices, 
is the way that we arrange the orders. So let us change the matrices around. When we change the matrices around, the orders have to be changed around. What do we know? In this case, the two middle numbers are not the same. Notice that they are not the same. Because they are not the same, the matrix product is therefore not possible. We cannot multiply matrices like those because when we arrange the orders in that fashion, the two middle numbers are not the same. Recall a matrix product from a previous order visual. From a previous order visual, we had a matrix product like that. Well, it is not the entire matrix product, but is the one that will suffice for this presentation. The adjoint was to be multiplied on the right-hand side also. This is your adjoint, and it should be multiplied on the right-hand side also. And I'm sure that you remember what took place. There it is. Apart from the fact that matrix multiplication is not commutative, which is the main reason for the shift, because there was a shift, as you can see. If it were not done, if the shift were not done, the order of the matrices would have proven that the multiplication is not possible. So let us do that again. If we take this one and put it all the way around here, we will have a 2 by 1 multiplying by a 2 by 2, just like what we have here. As you can see, as a matter of fact, they are the same matrices. And we have shown here that the multiplication would not have been possible because the number of columns of the first is not equal to the number of rows of the second. Therefore, we do this. We have a shift. Well, we did that. We cannot do that on paper, but we surely can do it in animation. And that is the purpose of the shift. The purpose of the shift is to allow the 2 by 2 matrix to be multiplied first. It caused the 2 by 2 matrix to be the first one in the product. Because if it were the second one in the product, the matrix product would not have been possible. So the shift that we have here is to allow for this. Now that is not the only purpose. As a matter of fact, that is not even the main purpose for doing that. Because we have already established that matrix multiplication is not commutative. So if we are multiplying this as we have right here in this product on the left hand side and if we need to multiply by this matrix also on the right hand side it would have to be the first one in the product in the same way that it is the first one in the product on this side because matrix multiplication is not commutative the order in which we multiply matrices will affect the product therefore if we have it as the first one in the product on the left then we should have it as the first one in the product on the right so that is the main reason for the shift. Additionally, if the shift were not done, the multiplication of the matrices would not have been possible because in this arrangement, the two middle numbers would not have been the same. For access to hundreds of free videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Richard James Mathematics Resources. For unlimited access to thousands of exclusive full-length videos, please subscribe to our Vimeo channel, Richard James Mathematics Resources.